Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. This video today is going to be a review and demo on the Chameleon Color Tone Markers. Now these markers, if you have the individual color markers, you can create light to dark gradients with them. If you buy the separate color tops, you can create awesome color blends. So a little bit about the markers. These are alcohol based. They're double sided, refillable, and the nibs can be replaced. And the pack that I purchased was the Blue Tones, which comes with five markers. And here's a user guide that's included with the pack of markers. It basically tells you tips and tricks and the technique to using the markers. And here is a close up of the five colors included in the blue tones pack. So here's the marker. It's pretty big. It's about 12 inches long, including the dual ended marker plus the chamber where you can get the light to dark color. So here's the brush tip side. And then here's the bullet side. So on the piece of paper already, I just swatched the colors as they are, no blending or anything. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you would get the light to dark gradient. So in my right hand is the mixing chamber, I'm going to call it, or blending chamber. And what you would do is, I'm going to do the brush tip side. You would take the brush tip side and insert it into the blending chamber. And you would hold it vertically with the blending chamber at the top and the marker on the bottom, holding it vertically for however many seconds to get the desired result. And for this one, I believe I held it in the vertical position for 35 seconds. And then once you're done holding it in that position, 
you would take the blending chamber off and cap it back up. And then when you start to color with it, it's going to transition from a light tone all the way back to the true tone of the marker. And the longer that you keep it in the blending chamber, the longer it's going to take for the marker to get back to its true color. So now I'm just going to swatch all of the colors that are included in the pack. And here I'm just demonstrating another color with the light to dark gradient. And along with the five color markers, you also get the user guide with the tips and techniques, as well as spare super soft brush nibs. The BL2 marker is supposed to be, I believe sky blue is the color. You can barely even see it on here. So I don't know if that was a defective one or if that's actually how the color is.
So now I'm going to put these markers to use for actually coloring something. And I'm going to show you me coloring in real time, and then I'm going to speed it up through the rest. So now this is sped up. And while you watch me color in this flower, I'm going to basically give my pros and cons for the markers. Um, I'll do the cons first. Um, it's pretty time consuming having to uh, put the end of the marker into the blending chamber, hold it upside down for 30 seconds or less. Um, that just takes a lot of time, and if you're using various colors, it, you may not want to take the time to uh, do all of the blending and things like that. And it would probably take longer if you had the additional color tops that can come with it. So you can do like orange to red gradient. Um, another kind would be you would have to buy additional um, color tops if you wanted to do, again, like the orange to red gradient. You'd have to buy like a pack of color tops and put that color top on your marker. Um, yeah, so I would say that would be a con for me because that'd be an extra however much it costs. I'm not sure how much the color top pack costs. Um, another con. The markers, to me, seem a little bit too uh, big. They're like a foot long um, with all the parts put together. And it's also just a, a thick marker 
to hold. Um, and also because it's cylindrical and its shape, it, it rolls everywhere. <laughs> Every time you put it down, it rolls. Um, but pros, uh, it's a pretty cool concept with the gradient colors you could make, um, as well as the light to dark tones. That's pretty cool. Um, and also, I feel like this would be more suitable for maybe like smaller drawings. This flower is pretty big, like each of the petals, it takes so long to color in because you have to go back and forth across the whole petal of the flower. And I feel like if it was maybe printed out smaller, you'd get like a better look. Or you could go back and re-put the tip of the marker inside the blending chamber um, and try and blend that out to make it look cohesive. But I decided to not finish the flower just because it just took way too much time. But here you're seeing everything that you get with the markers when you buy them, the five pack of blue tone markers, as well as the user guide and the spare brush tips. Thanks for watching.